What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're packing for a trip. Short trip. So we're packing for a, uh, just a crappie trip. So I'm actually not bringing the snow dog with me. We're going on to like a shallow water. It's like half man-made, half ma not man-made lake. Um, like most of them are here in Hampshire anyway. So we're going for crappie and bluegill and perch and, and everything else that bites. I got three, three, four people coming with me, one later in the day. And we're gonna try to do a catch and cook on the ice. And I hate saying that before the video, like in the intro, because sometimes you just don't catch fish and then you can't do a catch and cook. So our goal is to catch and cook on the ice, bring in the cooking equipment, uh, bring in the pop-up shanty, but I'm, we're packing light, which is way different than like if you don't film packing light. So we're bringing the aqua view of the hummingbird, uh, the second aqua view, cooking stuff. And I gotta unpack the truck from last weekend, which I still haven't done yet. So I'm gonna unpack that, make that lighter. My buddy Seth is showing up here at 5:30 in the morning uh, to get ready. So we're gonna we're gonna pack, unpack, and repack right now. Got to bring the Eskimo, and I gotta leave room for Seth's stuff. So one other quick tip, um, just for packing wise, is. Like I have all my clothes. I keep my clothes in my truck the night before. It's one less thing I got to carry out in the morning. So I keep all my camera gear inside just so the batteries don't freeze and have to deal with that crap in the morning. But I bring all my clothes out and I leave them in the truck. If it's a long drive, like an hour, they're going to be warm when I run the heat the whole time anyway. So this is a half an hour drive in the morning. I am going to bring them with me. Um, I'm going to keep my boots inside. I'm going to wear those tomorrow just because I'm not driving that far, but just to like reduce that packing time in the morning since it is 5 30 in the morning so next time you'll see me we'll be on the ice got one crappy yeah crappy first thing this morning he's a little squeaker but I'll take them. Not really take them, I'm gonna put them back. But... I'm gonna try another spot. There could be fish on the bottom here. At least some weeds. No, there's fish down there, guys. No, there's fish everywhere. Created my hole didn't freeze up every two seconds. Bluegill, I know it. Oh yeah, that's a better crappy. Oh yeah. Thumped it. Holy crap! Monster eater crappie, guys. That one is getting eaten right there. Let's get back down there. So, you guys can't see my my screen here, but I can. Start always start above. Oh, there's another one. Come here. Yeah, buddy, small one. Yeah, actually, I got a hole right there already. Drop, just dropped down on that one. Look at that freaking easy crap yet is God. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to get. That's why I called you guys over here so we keep the school here. But I got to drop down quickly here, so when Seth drills, they don't get scared away as much. That's a pretty good eater, guys. No, it's all covered in snow. So just because we're gonna eat these fish, I'm gonna dispatch them right now and bleed them out just so they taste better instead of like being frozen. All right, I got a fish on me, guys. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Come on. I thought they were bluegills at first, guys, but they're not. Ooh, I freaking missed them. Yeah, how's your gain doing, bud? Did you adjust it? <laughs> I changed the scale, and like Seth's like, that's too obvious. Change the gain on it. 
No, oh, got a small one coming up for it. Come on. Got like, yeah, let me show you guys. Five or six fish on the screen right now. We'll catch them, bud. So I'm using a little tiny gold ant drop thingy. And then a trigger, trigger spike worm. And that has caught all my fish this morning. It's a small one. Come on. Hammer him! Hammer him! Let me get the transducer! Oh, nice. That is a nice one. <laughs> Matt's got one. Oh, he just bit it. See ya? See ya, right? Pull up again. You see? No, it's too small. So guys, what I'm trying to teach Seth, so Seth's looking at the, the hummingbird, of course, is crappy's eyes are like literally on top of their head. So they're only going to hit it in the upwards direction and they'll sometimes hit just like that and they'll actually bump the jig upwards and it's really hard to feel. So they're a chasing fish. Yeah, especially he's got like a little bit of stiffer rod. The wind too. Yeah, the wind's not helping us at all. So he needs to provide a chase for that fish to come up and actually get it. Yes, big one. Big one. Wrapped the around the transducer cable. And he's, yeah, he's an eater. All right, now time for the catch and cook part. And I absolutely hate filleting fish on the ice. So what Seth and I are gonna do is we're gonna build a table using this ice saw that Seth had to have. Yeah, so like, yeah. How tall you want? Like, I don't know, that tall? I mean, taller the better, but we gotta actually get the ice blocks out. Our thing freaking cuts like butter, don't it? All right, where do you want to put it? Hold on. Oh, I saw it move. Yeah. So hold on, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the pieces first. Okay. So let me screw it into the piece first. That's really thin right there. You gonna clean it first? Oh, yeah. oh, you're talking about them putting it in the end? Yeah, that's fine. Making it easier to pull out. I thought you were going to cut it. Oh, go ahead and pull up. All right, so once we get this moving, we can't stop, though. So you're going to be able to cut it right there? Like, cut it like, yeah. like this? Ready? All right, we're making the table. This is our first first attempt. Been wanting to do this for like three or four years. All right. Well, no. Once it's once it's yeah. Take it again. Thanks. Thanks for helping, Matt. I'm carrying a. 200 pound ice block across the ice. Hold on, ball straight, 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 straight. <laughs> don't stop, don't stop. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, I stop. Yeah, don't stop. It glues itself right to the, the ground. So this That's is why. <laughs> New Hampshire's biggest export was ice. Really? For the longest time, we used to ship ice all around the world. Okay. Because uh, that that's how refrigerators used to run off. <laughs> all right. I don't know Let's if. Tip it. Yeah, I gotta tip it up first. Carry. So. Tip it back towards you. Ready? Yep, yeah, yeah. Come towards me. Seth, it's a little crooked. Come towards yeah, yeah. Good, good. Good, just like that. Yeah, hey, it's better than kneeling on the ground, man. <laughs> just watch your feet. Just watch your feet. Don't let it. Yeah, so she's pretty rugged. I also want to finish before it freezes back in there because we got to put it back. All right, so today uh, we're going to be doing some cooking. I hate cooking on the ground in the middle of the tent. So we got a little bit of wind, but that's all right. We're going to try to cook with the jet boil. We're going to do Frank's 
and panko crusted fried crappie. So we're gonna play them up. I'm not gonna watch, you guys aren't gonna watch me fillet all of them because it takes me forever to do it. Uh, but we're gonna fillet a couple up right now and get those in the grease. All right, we're gonna try to get the, uh, the old jet boil file that fired up here with some oil and a small little frying pan. So we're using canola oil, Frank's hot sauce, which we have in here, and then unseasoned panko. Crispy breadcrumbs, plain uh, panko. It's just perfect. You cut another piece? It's not the it's not the best edge to set it on either. We have to make a little. All right. We have some issues with the <laughs> issues with the wind blowing like a thousand miles an hour. Adapt and improvise, guys. Yep. Seth just made me a little windshield, which I'm super nervous about. You got the wind blowing in from this direction. You like you like hot sauce, right? But not super hot. Guess who has a cut in his hand? Oh, from your kid. Yeah, from my kid, but it just got hot sauce. <laughs> ah, that sounds better. Hope you guys, the mic can hear that. Crispies, golden crispies. Frying pan didn't work, so we're gonna try the actual jet boil device. We actually ruined the jet boil. So we're gonna actually cook with propane next time. Not messing with this hybrid fuel stuff. And we're gonna cook two little tiny pieces. Seth's gonna try one, I'm gonna try one. Almost done, last little boil here, and then we'll pack up and head home. Thanks you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you want more Catch and Cooks, leave comments below to tell me to do more Catch and Cooks. All right, moment of truth. Seth's gonna come over and try this right now, and we're gonna be in heaven here in a second. None of this came out like I planned, guys. It's cooked. It's hot. Huh? It's just not getting hot enough. Try it. Look at the camera and tell you it's good. It tastes fine. Except for the table might have, you know. We ate a little bit of it. It's pretty good. Live and learn, I need to get better at catching cooks. Thank you for watching. Pull! <laughs> I'm glad that was on camera. You broke it! See, I told you. Crack that piece over there. Now what are we gonna do? Let's squish my fish. <laughs> do you wanna just, um, yeah, I'll drill it into that one, and we'll drag that over. <laughs>